All right. Well, I've talked about this before about the power of Google Drive. Um, because you put something on Google Drive and you've got your Gmail link across multiple platforms like your computer and your phone and your tablet, you can do some pretty amazing things. Um, the one I'm going to bring up is a simple sample payroll. Do not use this. Um, if you're going to do something like this, consult a CPA uh, to make sure you are doing it right because the rules for taxes are really really funny uh, but we're going to go back and hearken on a time where taxes were much much similar so here's a spreadsheet i created on google drive uh, we have several employees we have bob jim jane mario and pam um, variety of pays um, pay rates i should say of course their their total pay if there's overtime how much their total pay is um, their taxes and their net pay um, and then it gives you the total for that week um, we're going to assume the standard of anything over 40 hours is overtime. We're going to, um, again, this is your city taxes, your local. Um, we know taxes are complex, so if you live in one city and work in another, you're usually paying double taxes. Um, school district tax, if you live in Ohio, you know what a school district tax is. Uh, the state of Ohio taxes is generally 5%. Uh, it might be 5.5, but we're just going to keep it simple. FICA. If you have no idea what FICA is, this is your Social Security Medicare tax. Uh, FICA is just the old name and it was just easier to type it in and I'm an old person. I remember it being called FICA, um, but that's what it is. Federal. Federal is where you're going to change on employee to employee depending upon their circumstances. That's the reason why I said consult a CPA if you're going to do it manually like this because federal is really based on how much money you're making, number of exemptions, are you married or you're single, and so on and so forth. But for simplicity, I just made it 13%. Um, so um, formulas are already in here. So pay is going to be obviously rate times hours. Uh, any hours under 40 is going to be there. So I will need to make that adjustment. So let's make that adjustment. Uh, let's see, we're gonna make that an if statement. If parenthesis total, uh, which is going to be I3, I3, okay, is equal to or less than 40, then it's rate times hours. Makes sense, right? If it's not true, so this is where overtime is kicking in. Then it is going to be I3, which is their hours, but it won't, be, won't even be that. It's going to be 40, because your maximum hours is 40, times your rate of pay, which is J3. And we're going to close it. And it says I have an error. Let's see if logical expression ah. oh okay <laughs> yeah new language I forgot it's a little bit different than that so we're gonna make it as long as it's less than 40.001 there we go there we go we're gonna copy this we're gonna paste it all the way down um, this is, and we'll test it as we go, but basically, you know, if it's under 40 hours, then this is what it is. If it's over 40 hours, it does this and we'll test it to make sure. But it, again, this is what a good accountant is for. So let's see, Bob is a regular person and he works five days a week, 40 hours, $400. There we go. He has no overtime. And totals will be regular play plus overtime. There we go. I'm going to copy that and bring that all the way down. Minor little things I've forgotten. So, again, see how these are kind of like off? You can't read them. So what you could do is you can go in this corner here, click this, and this highlights the entire column. These little dividers in the center, double click it, and it expands them out. All right. So, oh, the $400 that Bob made, 
he got 285 but wait there's more Bobo's child support of $156 and 40 cents there we go every week yeah I know child supports but ain't it adjust and I'm gonna make this column into dollars and cents because I didn't do it before and we're gonna put it under currency now we can adjust it there we go so yep buy is 40 hours a week um, ten dollars an hour makes four hundred dollars which is his total these are his taxes that's his child support or whatever other thing it is that's his net pay you know that's horrid isn't it <clears throat> Jim Jim works six days every other or six hours every other day and eight on Sunday 26 hours 11 299 good job Jane is our workaholic whoop don't want to do Mario yet so Jane's our workaholic she's a dedicated employee and I keep forgetting you can't hit enter <laughs> All right, so there you go. Jane's got 50 hours in for the week. At 965, she makes a regular pay of 386, which is about right. She has overtime. Ta-da! Working just perfect. Um, Mario is a part-timer, and he works eight on Saturdays because he's on the call center. Pam is our bookkeeper. That's why we pay her so well. So she works eight, 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 and eight. Good job. So anyways, we was going to look at, ah, somehow I picked up a number it shouldn't be there, but that's okay, we can fix that. So these are gonna be your totals. So we're gonna do equal sum, close bracket, go up here, da 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 da. <laughs> so your total payroll for this week grows uh, for regular pay is that and we're gonna copy them over for the rest of them and there you go looks really really good uh, and like I said if you've got this set up properly um, you could literally just plug the numbers in that's how simple it is and then like I said if you need it to bring it up on your phone or tablet or record hours on demand you can certainly do this but this is how simple it is to use a spreadsheet to do basic accounting functions uh, not just a checkbook you know payroll obviously but have this double check with a payroll or with a CPA or whoever does your accounting just to make sure you're doing payroll right because um, nothing is worse than screwing up taxes on a quarterly basis um, but yeah here you go so in this particular week two thousand dollars almost two thousand dollars was spent there's 144 dollars in overtime um, yeah two thousand dollars all together net pay and these are all the clock taxes that uh, and child support so yeah there you go that's pretty much it in a nutshell not really hard or complex um, if you need more specific instructions on how to do things let me know I'll be glad to assist you as best I can um, you know this is relatively simple uh, like I said no one pays just an outright straight 13% however I tell people when they're doing their own calculations for what their paycheck is going to be like if they're starting a new job um, usually I tell people to best guess it at 28% for total taxes so that's why you kind of see it that that number because that's what I tell people and then this way when they get their paycheck and the net pay is bigger than what I told them to expect itchy eye sorry um, then they're pleasantly surprised uh, <laughs> but yeah if you're judging it I, I tell tell people to use 28% as your base uh, for taxes um, and so yeah there you go pretty plain and simple um, and, and you know if you needed to go in and do da, 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 squares you know for hours and then and stuff like that you can add those if you wanted to put color coding in there to say hey this person is ruining our payroll because they have 50 hours you know so yeah there's a couple of different ways to do it um, like I said uh, you know readjusting readjusting your column sizes 
There we go. That looks a little better. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah, there's the, the power of Sheets. Um, those of you who have worked in offices and use Excel or Sheets or anything like this, you know how easily this works. But if you need help or guidance or suggestions, feel free to give me a call or let me know or shoot me an email or a Facebook message. I'll be able to guide you some there. So if you found this useful, like, share, subscribe. If you don't have a Google account, there we are over on Facebook. Computer problems, or if you need a more, a little bit more attention on something like this, give us a call. I'll be glad to assist you. So you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later.